In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use work offsets on your CNC controller to be able to quick change two different tools for one particular job. Before we get started, if you like this video, please hit the like button below. And if you'd like to see more videos and be notified as soon as we post a new one on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button below. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna need here is my material. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my material on the vacuum fixture. I had already probed my vacuum fixture to find the XY center. So that's gonna be common throughout all the tools that I'm using. So what I need to do first is take this material and I'm just gonna center it on the vacuum fixture and I'm gonna turn the vacuum pump on. Push down, make sure that that's secure. Now the first tool that I'm going to touch off is going to be the surfacing tool and then I have a quarter inch up cut plastic cutting bit. Now the XY zero is going to be the same for both of these obviously but the stick out is going to be different from each of the tool holders. So we're going to use G55 for the surfacing bit and we're going to touch off Z and record that. Then we're going to switch to G56 and we're going to touch off Z for the quarter inch end bit. So first thing we're going to do, push the button pop the surfacing bit in. I'm gonna make sure G55 is pushed. Now what I need to do is bring the spindle over the material. I'm gonna take my tool length sensor, put it underneath my surfacing bit, and activate that and you see CNC. Okay, so now the G55 is set, and I just touched off my Z. If I hit go to zero, you can see the end mill is right flush on the surface of the material. The next thing I want to do is I want to hit G56. I'm going to raise my spindle, and I'm going to push the button to eject my surfacing bit and install my quarter inch end mill. Now I'm going to do the same thing as far as touching this off, but now that I'm in G56, I'm going to save the, I'm going to touch it off for that particular work offset. So now, G56, XY0 is all set. My Z axis has been probed off, so I'm gonna hit go to zero. And again, there's my end mill sitting right on the surface of the material. Now all I have to do is load my signs on and go ahead and run my files in UCC and C. I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my sign. I've got alignment pins in the back. I've got my vacuum fixture with three matching alignment pins. I'm simply going to take the sign, line it up on the holes for the vacuum pins, and I'm going to turn on my vacuum pump. Then all I want to do is push down on my piece to make sure it's secure, which it really is. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I have to put in my surfacing bit first. This is really easy. All I do, put the tool in the tool holder, press the button on the side of the machine, and the tool is secure. Now I'm gonna come over to UCC and see, I'm gonna make sure that I hit G55 because that is the Z0 and XY0 coordinates for the surfacing bit. I'm gonna close this file, open up a new one. I'm gonna open up my surface run file. You can see my surfacing toolpath. I'm on G55. Now all I have to do is hit cycle start and it's gonna go ahead and surface off this part.
Okay, now that that's done, all I have to do is push the button on the side of the machine to release the surfacing tool. And go ahead and put the quarter inch end mill in. Now I'm coming back to UCC and C. All I'm going to do is hit G56. I'm going to close this file, open up my profile toolpath. And now all I have to do is hit cycle start to run the job. And that is all there is to it. Now, as you can see, my workpiece is going to remain secure to the vacuum table. I can remove the waste material. And now I can just turn off the vacuum pump. And that will release my part. And there's my part, all set. And that's how you use work offsets. If you're using Mach 3, I know you have work offset capability as well. If your software has a G54, 5, 6, 7, uh, that's what those are for. That's, that's for work offsets. And in this case, it lets me use my automatic tool changer in a quick change format by simply pushing a button and swapping two tools using G55 and G56 to take care of my Z offset for each tool. I hope you find this video helpful.